Welcome back to AFK Travels. My name is Jackie, and today we are going to be doing an oil change on my Ford Transit. To get started, you'll need 6 liters of 5W20 full synthetic oil and an oil filter. Check the description below for all of the part numbers. The tools you'll need are a 15mm wrench or socket, an oil filter wrench, gloves, cardboard, and a funnel with an old oil jug and an oil pan. If you are using full synthetic oil, the recommended change time is between 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers or once per year. First thing we'll do, pop the hood and the latch and we are going to be taking the oil cap off to let air in so that the oil drains quicker. I highly recommend doing this when your engine's still a little bit hot, then all the contaminants in the oil will drain better, as well as the oil is more liquid, so it'll be a quicker drain. By removing the oil cap, there's not going to be a vacuum in your engine to cause the oil to drain slower, so I highly recommend draining this, opening this valve first. The oil filter part number is 1502021. And if you're using synthetic oil instead of full synthetic, I do recommend changing your oil every 7,000 to 10,000 kilometers. About to mention, have some paper towel ready so that you can clean up messes quickly if something was to happen. That you want to remove is that one. That's the oil drain plug. Put the oil pan underneath first, remove that one, and let the oil drain. Paper towel ready. And this is why you have a cardboard. It overshot where I was thinking because it spilled a little bit. Now it's not on my driveway and I can just throw this piece of cardboard away. Now that the oil's all drained, we put the plug back in and Take the oil filter out. Remember that cloth you're using to clean up oil? Clean up the screw and the oil pan drain for any drippage. Just makes it clean and you don't have to deal with mess later. Make sure you tighten this back up before you move on to the next step to remove the oil filter. Second part you're going to have to remove is this oil filter here, so... This is an important step here. When you get your new filter, make sure you oil it up with some of the engine oil that was previous. It helps lubricate the seal sealants so that it prevents leaks and a better seal at the end. This one kind of comes pre-lubed, but for precaution, I always like to add a little bit more.
You only want to hand crank this tight. You don't want to use the tool again. I think that's pretty good. Hand tightened. We're set. Now we are ready to add the oil back into the engine. You will need your 5 liter and 1 liter jug. The 1 liter jug, you only need about half of it, but please make sure you check your oil stick at the end to make sure you add the right amount into your engine. Once you're done, make sure to put the oil cap back onto the engine. Now we are ready to dispose the old oil. You can simply put it into an old oil jug and dispose of it at your local fire station. Start the engine. Let it run for a couple of minutes and then we'll check the oil stick to make sure the oil level is good and then we're all set. The oil stick is this one right here so we'll check that. Alright, it's been a couple of minutes here so let's check the oil level. You'll notice two holes on your oil stick. This is to help you indicate where the oil level is in your engine. like we're perfect. You can notice the air bubble on the bottom, but that's what we're looking for. And then you can see that the engine oil has reached the top part there. You can always reset the oil servicing wrench on your transit as well. So turn your car to the on position, but not fully turned over. The wrench icon is right there, actually. You can reset the oil servicing light by holding the brake and gas together about 15 seconds. Now it's flashing. That's what you want. Now that means it has been reset. Thanks for watching, and I hope that was insightful. Subscribe to follow our adventure in our van.